This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. Welcome along. This session is all about using the for loop in MATLAB. And a for loop is used when you want to repeat a set of commands a fixed number of times. So we'll look at a couple of simple examples and we'll do so within a script file. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new script file and put some comments at the top before we get started. So for this example, we're not going to define a variable dictionary because we'll be using different variables for the different examples that I'm demonstrating and I'll explain as I go along what the variables represent. So in the handout you've seen an example of a for loop that simply prints the numbers between 1 and 9. We're going to take that a little bit further and do a similar thing. We're going to calculate 5 raised to the power of numbers between 1 and 3. So we define our for loop and the first thing we do after that is define our loop counter variable. So we're going to call it k. And k is going to change every time we go around the loop. And what we want to change in this problem is the power that we're raising 5 to. And we said we wanted to use powers between 1 and 3. So our k is going to be a vector that starts at 1, goes in steps of 1 and goes up to the value of 3. So on the first iteration of the loop, k is going to be 1, the second iteration 2, and the final iteration 3. So we've now defined our loop counter. We can go inside the body of the loop now and put the command that we want to execute. So we'll create a variable called my power, and that's going to equal 5 raised to the power of k. And I'm not going to use the semicolon on the end of this line because I want to see what prints on every iteration of the loop. And with any type of loop, you should always end the loop using the end command. So let's go and test this now and save and run the script. So you can see in the command window, on the first iteration of the loop, the command performed was 5 to the power of 1, the second iteration 5 to the power of 2, and lastly 5 to the power of 3 was the third iteration. So that's a very simple example of how to use a for loop. The second example we're going to look at is using a for loop to define a new vector. You'll see in this previous example that we just changed the value of my power every time we ran the loop. So it started at 5, and when we finished the loop, it was overwritten with the value of 125. Now we could do the same thing, but assign those numbers to a vector. And that change is fairly simple to make. We simply go back into the body of the for loop, and use the round brackets after my power, and the loop counter variable k. So let's run the loop again. And now you can see we've created a vector. So initially the vector only contained the element 5, then 5 and 25, and finally three elements, 5, 25, and 125. So that's a couple of simple examples of using a for loop in MATLAB. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.